welcome back to my channel hope you're doing well today i'm going to be doing my last asos delivery that i'm going to be having for um i'd say the foreseeable future guys who knows but um this is my second attempt guys i will admit i did order from shoes originally from asos um i'll put a little snippet of it here so you can see the shoes next item guys there's no invoice with this guys so i can't exactly tell you the prices of them but i will pop the pictures i will set the pictures up here if i don't it means that they're sold out and i can't find the pictures if not i will pop a description down below or the link down below so this is a company called red never heard of red and these are the mecca black patent size seven shoes these are studded heel shoes the shoes i just like shoes so that's these guys very very pretty so what drew me to these was the fact that they had spikes on obviously and the fact that i like the whole style of these guys they're like twinkle picker shoes and i like these I'm, I'm starting to get into the twinkle picker pointy footwear again the boots i got from everything five pound i absolutely love i've not worn them enough because i haven't been at the house guys but I just thought these would look really, really nice with a nice skirt, nice dress, nice trousers. I just think they'd be comfortable for me. I know a lot of my shoes are very unrealistic and I probably will never be able to wear them like properly. Um, but these, I just thought, would look really nice. You could dress these up with anything. And I've got lots and lots of black dresses that this would look amazing with. Okay, guys, so as you can see, they look lovely on i just love this whole detail here but so i've pulled them these are supposed to be where the gap is here they're supposed to crisscross there and then you pull them and then uh, there you go guys so then i'm supposed to tie them but as you can see <laughs> as you can see i've there's no way in the world there's no way in the world that these are ever going to fit me. There is no other way of doing them either, guys. I've tried doing it a different way where they're just like, I don't know. It's just not going to, it's just not going to work. No matter how many times I've looked at it, they just do not, they do not reach. They do not fit. So, yeah, for that reason, guys, I've had to... Um, do a return and it's a shame because they, they would have looked so nice on guys but yeah and now i can't get them off <laughs> all right i'll put you back to the the usual position um i absolutely loved these shoes but unfortunately guys they just they just they were about three sizes too small on the on the ankles the straps didn't reach the ankle and i was really disappointed because i thought i really liked these shoes um I was quite excited about opening them, but unfortunately they didn't fit. There was no way in the world they were going to fit me. Um, and I did send them back and that's all been sorted out. And I decided to keep one of the items. So one of the items is here. So we'll, we'll do that unboxing now. And then I exchanged for a couple of items. So I didn't, I didn't ask for an ex, like a refund. I just asked for a simple exchange, but I did a refund and then bought the items rather than that whole mix up again that I had with Killstar. I didn't want to do that. I thought I'll wait till I get my refund, then I'll reorder. So I have reordered guys and it has arrived today. Two clothing items guys. This is the last of my clothing items for like anything, anything because I cannot get in my wardrobe at the minute. And I know you are wanting a wardrobe tour. Once I've got all my clothes sorted out, I will do that. So guys, one of the items from the last one is here. I've kept it in the box because I knew that I was going to order something else instead of the, the shoes. Now, I was happy with this. So obviously I kept, although it's from ASOS, it actually claims to be from New Look, which I didn't, I've never even thought about looking at New Look for this kind of thing, but I, I I have kind of got enough of everything at the minute so i'm going to venture i'm venturing back in small independent businesses for a while but let's crack on and show you this one guys so as you can see it is a, a chain belt now 
ASOS do have a lot of chain belts and belts in general on there that are quite reasonably priced. I know that Electric Diva has dipped into um, ASOS for belts in the past. I think she got the iconic belt, which I really do like, but I just don't think I would wear that. But I did get the hooped, the hooped belt from ASOS, which I absolutely love. Um, did I get anything else from ASOS? I think I may have got something else from ASOS, I can't quite remember. But I spotted this and I thought, oh, I do like that. So as you can see, it says waist and hip belt from New Look. So, okay, it's 100% metal, guys. And that's all it says about it. And um, it's a medium to large. As you can see, it's tangled. <laughs> Let me untangle it a minute, guys. The other problem with chain belts is they do tangle up quite easily like so now from what i can see it's a three it's a four tier chain we just it is literally all tangled up guys let's see if i can just pull that out of here so it's a four tier but the second tier is like some hoops very much like small to medium hoops and then the other chains just loosely dangle like so there is actually a lobster clasp here and that obviously will clasp onto any part of this metal here. Then you've got this tiny little Bulbarian ball at the bottom, which doesn't really weigh anything, but it keeps it keeps it down. Um, it does sit nicely on the waist, guys. Let me just let me just see if I can show you. So it actually goes nice with this top that I'm wearing. So it just hooks in here, guys. And you can have it either dangling here or to the side or to the side here. Whatever you choose, you can have it as tight or as loose as you want. I'm just holding it here as a reference. I prefer it to just bag down. So, yeah, I thought for the price, guys, this was really, really reasonable. And um, it's quite sturdy as well. I know I'd like to get a belt from Scarlet and Chains eventually. But I do like this. And I have got a few chain belts, guys. I do actually like chain belts. There's quite a weight in this, guys, which is good. I'm happy about that. It's not the really cheap chain that would snap dead easily. So that's good weight on that. So that was the item I got last, last week, guys. So it has been sat here the remainder of the week until they sent my, my next item out. But this has come super fast, guys. So I can't really complain on... Um, the delivery time i know when i first ordered from asos my delivery was kind of really really long so let's cut into this guys i will not destroy the bag just in case just in case it doesn't fit because i'm struggling with sizes at the minute guys and this top that i've got on is actually one that i got off my sister my sister gave me it's actually a size eight and i'm quite surprised because i'm like size eight I can only dream about fitting in size eight. Now it is quite tight on the arms a little bit here, but, and it's not as long as I'd like it to be, but I absolutely love this top. And I'm like, go on sister, I'm digging this. Shame that this is gold. I would have liked it to be in silver, but this is actually new. She's actually left the, t she's so like me. She's got the tag still on it. Um, so, hey, there you go. So I thought I'd wear it today because it kind of goes really, really nicely with um, what I'm hoping to find in here. Right, so two items, guys. First item in the bag. The second item is so heavy. So, so heavy. So here is my second item. So two ASOS items today. No invoice. They never, ever put an invoice in, like, ever. But never mind. Anyway, so two items. I did actually buy the two as a matching. And the belt would go nicely with this. I was eyeing up these before the shoes. And I was like, can't have them all. Which do I have? So in the end, I went for the shoes. But obviously the shoes were way too small. Not in the foot. They, were, they wouldn't wrap around my ankle. My ankles. My, I haven't got the biggest ankles, guys. But these, I'm not joking. You'd have to have an ankle about this big. It was ridiculous. So, um, yeah, they went back. Got a refund got these instead so i'm going to try and start with these ones because these are what i'm excited about the most so they're super heavy guys so these are asos design slim leg trousers with d-ring detail in size 16 now 
usually with trousers I'm hit and miss. Sometimes I'll fit into 14, sometimes 16, sometimes none of them and I'll fit in an 18. I think it always goes off the, the material or the make or the design. I'm praying that these fit me because I do not want to keep returning items. I never usually do returns guys, usually I just keep them and sell them on. But this time I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. So it comes in an ASOS bag, which is good. And oh my God, these will need ironing before I try them on guys, because I'm not one for trying crease clothes on. But oh my God, clothes, clothes, that's not a word, clothes. Right, so plain black trousers. These feel really nice. Now, where are these actually? So these are actually ASOS trousers, which worries me a little bit, because the last time I got ASOS clothing, it was, the sizing was a little bit off. So, oh, I hope these fit me, guys. I don't know if they did an 18, but as you can see, they are D-ringed all the way down. They're a bit twisted at the minute. I think it's cause they're all attached to the D-ring. So guys, as you can see, they're all twisted. Let me just untwist them, guys. You might be able to see them better. I think they've just attached them very weirdly. Um, I can't... I'm never baffled that much, but these are baffling me. They're like tied one way and then they're tied another way, which will probably make the trousers a little bit tight. Tighten them or loosen them, whichever to your needs. But they're literally de-ringed all the way down, guys. So they've got two pockets at the back. The material feels like a cotton material, but I'm always wrong. I'm always wrong. And as you can see, they look twisted at the minute, guys. But in the picture, which I'll show you here, can you see how... I mean, at first I was like, I wasn't too sure about all the, like, the material all sticking out. I wasn't too sure about that. I was like, mm, maybe I should cut all that off, but no, I wouldn't do that. Um, you could probably loosen that so there's less of that sticking out, but it depends. I'm not a, a slim leg person, so chances are, guys, I will probably have to loosen them all off to get these on, because as you can see, they're literally, they're so tight that they're like skinny fine. Look how tight that is. I don't think I'll get my fat chunky legs in there, so I, chat, I will have to probably loosen all these off. So guys, what I might do before the try on, oh my God, these, oh, I've given myself a task here, aren't I guys? Let me just undo one of the D-rings. Right, so I will probably have to undo all the D-rings guys and then iron the trousers because I can't see how you can iron these with all the D-rings fastened so tightly. It's impossible to do. So what I'm gonna do is loosen up all the D-rings and then iron the trousers and then possibly <laughs> sit there for 10 minutes, fastening up all the D-rings to my kind of fit, if that makes sense. Because some of these may be way too tight for me and I might not get the trousers on. And I do wanna iron them first, but guys, the, I like the fact that you can add chains to these. Now that is the whole reason why I got these pants. They reminded me a little bit like bondage trousers. Now I did used to own some goth trousers, which were all chains and zips and D-rings and O-rings. And I absolutely loved them. They had skulls on them. They zipped out, they were flared. They was all basked at the back. I gutted myself after I sold them. And I went through a phase of thinking, I can't wear my new rocks anymore because of my back, which means I won't be able to, to go out headbanging anymore or to the local club. I just went on a downward spiral, guys, and destroyed everything I owned by selling it all. I will not make that mistake again. So, guys, I took all the D-rings off one of the legs so you get to see. But they are quite a wide leg. Here is the material. Let's have a look, guys, what material this actually is because I do think they feel like cotton. Yeah, 97% cotton and 3% elastane. I did say that these were cotton, I can just tell. Ironing cotton's a ball ache for me, guys. I hate ironing cotton. But that with them, guys, um, I can't quite remember the price. This is why I always wish they'd put a little invoice in. But obviously when I put the picture up, you will see the price of them there. Now the next item I went for 
was to actually match these, but I kind of like the fact that this top would match it, but I didn't have this top at the time of ordering these, so there you go. Let's open this and have a look at this one. So again, they come in the bag. I can't remember the, if the others, I think they did come in a bag. Oh, I like this, guys. So I like to put a bit of colour in my clothing, guys. I don't know if you if you recognise that I always either inject red, inject purple, or I'll inject green, or I'll inject blue. I've got colour in all my clothing. I don't. I, I I love black, and I love wearing all black because it makes you look slimmer. But I just like to inject colour every now and again. And I just seen this and thought I like this. So guys, it's a cropped. I know. I'm brave in this crop set. It's a crop jumper and it's a rib jumper and it feels absolutely amazing. It's very stretchy, as you can see. And at the front, it's like a, what they call like a square neck. And then at the back, they've actually got this buckle detail. It is at the back. So you can tighten it at the back or you can loosen it. There's one here and then there's another one here. It's actually scooped underneath. So there's two buckles that hoop at the back. This is not as confusing as that sheen top that I had. So as you can see, they just sit nicely on the back, which I think is really, really pretty. And it adds a little bit of detail to these O-ring, D-ring trousers. O-ring, D-ring. So that was the top, guys. And I thought the top was quite reasonable. My total order for the trousers and the top was £25. So... Um, this is a size 16 as well. Let's have a look at the material. It feels like polyester and elastane or spandex. Oh, okay. So it's, I'm not going to read them little numbers. It's 54% nylon and 46% viscose. But how nice is that, guys? It looks very, very stretchy and I kind of, I'm kind of liking this black and red thing at the minute. Um, I just think it's a nice combination colour. I do like my black and purple though as well. Um, the only thing I wish that these had like the thumb inserts. I just thought that would make it like really gothic. But I don't know if the sleeves are long enough to do that. But I will check that out. So I'll do a try on guys, but I will go and iron them trousers because they are super creased. I mean super crease so I will we'll try the trousers with that top and I'll put the belt with the trousers so you get to see um, I may even grab one of my harnesses to try with that jumper so you get to see what a harness looks like so you can goth up a, an item or two from a shop such as ASOS and goth it up with your own accessories and at £25 you'd probably pay £25 for one item on Killstar so £25 and a belt makes that a £35 outfit, can't really complain, again £35 from Killstar may only get you one item. Okay guys, so <laughs> they fit me, so these are trousers, now I had to literally take all the um, hooks out of the D-rings I ironed them, iron on cotton on your iron, guys, change it to cotton, irons beautifully. Obviously it's hard to iron some parts because of the, the bands and the hooks and the tags and stuff, but they iron beautifully and they fit a tree really nicely on. I paired it with this belt, so you can see what this belt looks like. I will try this again with the other jumper. Now, I haven't featured this top, it's a top that my sister gave me. It's new with tags from River Island. Um, I think she's had it a while, so that's why I've not featured it, because it's not like new as in you can go and buy it. It's She's probably had it in the wardrobe for a while. It's a size eight. A size eight. Guys, I never fit in a size eight. Obviously it's stretchy, um, but I just thought this looks really, really nice with these trousers, and I've paired them off with my Lamorda chain boots. I could wear my Killstar boots, Killstar shoes, Killstar high tops, my Lamorda, Creepers, my Lamorda biker boots. I have got endless amount of shoes and boots, so I can pair them with anything. Or I could even wear my new rocks with them as a suggestion. But these pants are versatile. I could wear these as a going out pair of trousers with a really nice top. 
or I could dress them down and wear them casually and comfortably. Should we try the top, guys? Because obviously this is not the top that featured in the video, but let's go and try the top that did. I just had my dinner, guys, my tea, and I'm a bit bloaty, so you might get a bit of a gut sticking out, but pizza, what can I say? Let's go and try the top on. The only, only problem with these, guys, is you got to, like, push them and then, like, push them back. As they, at the at the bottom, they do stick out. I do wish there was like a bit of Velcro at the back that would Velcro them down. You see how they, I mean, that's probably the style, but I personally would like to have some Velcro on there and just Velcro them all down. I just think that'd look better. I just put on one of my Attitude clothing harnesses so you get to see what it looks like with a plain top like this, which is, this is the look I'm aiming for. I've not hooked it at the top. But it hooks to the top and it will bring it closer across but this will sit right across the chest area here and my other one does the same i've got the big elastic one which i'm going to i think i might diy that with some spikes as well but this is what it looks like now so as you can see the back this is the back guys so you've got two added pieces here that sit nicely on the back like so just ignore the fact that I've got a bra strap right in the middle. Okay guys, so here is the top and trousers. No harness, no belt, as they are. Now these weren't paired together on ASOS. Obviously I found the trousers first and I was like, I'll have myself a bit of them. I like them. Obviously they look better when I've lost some weight. Definitely worth the money. Material on this is absolutely amazing as well. Nice stretchy material. These are fantastic. I'm so glad that they're cotton and not polyester. Um, but I may get some Velcro and Velcro the straps down because the top part looks amazing. But, let's pull them back up again because they are high-waisted trousers, by the way, guys. Um, but the bottom, just I don't like the way they, they all stick out. It kind of irritates me, a bit of OCD. I mean, this bit here. Obviously, I've not ironed the bottom straps. I think when I, if I iron the bottom straps, they may, because these are sitting down because I've ironed them. Um, if I iron the bottom ones, they might sit nicely as well. But I love the way that they, they just pull you in. You can have these as baggy as you want, guys. All you have to do is loosen your D-rings. You can have them looser, baggier, or tighter. These go so much tighter, guys, like really tight. But I, I want to keep them like a nice loose. All right, guys, gotta go. I will see you on the next one. Put your comments on below. Labels are still on, as you can see. I will not take the labels off until I officially wear them. All right, guys, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Which one was your favourite? You decide.